What is going on, people? I am here for another review. It's about like six deep in these past two days. Anyway, uh, this movie is more of a horror, more thriller than anything. Has some, I guess, horror aspects to it, but it's more of a thriller, drama, mystery type movie. Uh, if you couldn't tell by the title, the movie is called Anyone Home. And to tell you the truth, I don't know if that has like a double entendre meaning kind of deal, because as you watch the movie, by the end of it, you figure out why it's called that, but then throughout the throughout the movie, you kind of think it might have a double meaning kind of deal. Anyway, this movie was written and directed by Patrick Cunningham. It was also written by William Day Frank. It stars uh, uh, Monique Gabrielle Kernan. Hopefully I said that right. It also stars Kathy Baker, who's been in Picket Fences and stuff. But the 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 role that I remember her in more than anything was in Edward Scissorhands. She plays the, uh, what do you want to call it, the hairdresser that kind of, you know, kind of puts herself on him at one point in time. Uh, and it also stars Luke Ganelon, who plays a young son in this. So, uh, well, it also stars a couple other people. Um, but pretty much this... Uh, story revolves around a mother and a son. Um, let's just say you could tell there's something that happened previously, but it only throughout the movie it only shows you kind of glimpses and stuff. But you figure out that the mother um, isn't all right in the head. Uh, she takes a lot of pills and all this stuff. And uh, like I said, throughout the movie you kind of see glimpses and flashbacks of maybe something happened before um, they got into the situation they did now. Uh, right now it's just the mother and a single uh, and a kid and they're put up in this house that pretty much from the understanding I got throughout the movie that they have to kind of uh, renovate this and get it ready for selling uh, and then they have a chance to buy the house or something along those lines or you know not i guess uh that's kind of i guess i have to watch it again to kind of get the full story about it but anyway it's the mother and the son and they're in this house and um the mother's trying to find means of work and all this stuff she's trying to keep her life together but as the movie progresses you can see her spiraling deep deep into something i don't even know because you know certain port parts she's like upset certain part she's angry certain parts she's just like like out there kind of deal like the thing that i kind of contributed to like if i had to put it's not the same deal but like, her craziness and her, like, downfall almost reminds me of the woman in um, Requ uh, Requiem for a Dream, the mother, where she's trying to become a famous star. This, she doesn't really take. I mean, I guess if she took her the pills that she's supposed to at one point in time, it might not, she might not unravel the way she does. But uh, throughout the movie, she just gets further, deeper, deeper into this, like, I don't know, made up world it seems like. She keeps on looking at a picture. Uh, she keeps on talking about this husband and all this stuff and how he's supposed to send her money and all this stuff. And as you um, go through the movie and see these flashbacks and learn more, you kind of figure out that what she's saying might not all be true. Uh, there's, uh, you know, a few uh, different characters that she runs into. Uh, pretty frequently and all this stuff and as the story progresses it just seems like everything's getting you know convoluted and all this stuff so um i don't want to get way too deep into it but what i always do i'll leave the imdb link uh and you know the description on imdb as well as a trailer and stuff but if you're looking for like i said you know kind of uh i don't want to call it a slow burn because it really isn't. The story progresses very well. It's just at one point in time, it just, you know, seems like a normal woman. And by the end of it, it's just like all over the place. Uh, so again, don't want to go way too deep into it or tell you what goes on or anything. Just got to watch it. So uh, what I'll do, like I said, I'll leave the trailer. I'll leave the link for the trailer. I believe this should be out because I... It does say it came out in 2018. Uh, not 100% sure if it is on physical media, but if it is, I will look for it and I will link the um, 
link it if it's on Amazon or anything like that. But just check the description for everything I talk about because, you know, that'll probably be the easiest way to do it. Um, for a small, you know, cast, there isn't, you know, a bunch of, bunch of people and it's usually um, around the two characters, the mother and the son. And... Both of them, you know, especially for the young kid, I think he does a really good job in this one. Uh, you know, he kind of, especially towards the end of it, kind of has to, you know, take the role of a parent, I guess you want to call it. You know, uh, he's the one that's putting out these pills and all this stuff for his mother. And then you notice at certain points the mother doesn't take them. And then she starts, like I said, spiraling and stuff. It's just a very overall really good movie um like i said it's more of a thriller you know it has its you know i wouldn't call it jumpy parts but it's got its like creepiness factor to it um so i wouldn't call it a horror movie per se uh but it's more like i said a thriller than anything but uh like i said definitely go ahead check it out anyone home uh, i'll leave the link for the trailer and like i said right after this i'll look for uh anything that's on amazon uh whether it has a uh, digital release or anything like that um, or it does have a physical media just look for the in the description and I'll figure it out uh, if you haven't already and you've liked these past couple um, reviews definitely go ahead hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this one hit that like button and of course hit that bell button so you know when I do upload uh, more stuff uh, whether it be more reviews or unboxings or anything along those lines if you hit that bell button you'll know when I do upload uh, more stuff so uh, yeah I guess until next time I'll see you guys